What's up, home bartenders? Today we're gonna to answer the age-old question, which is the superior fall flavor, apples or pumpkin? And the stage for the contest is the old-fashioned. All right, so which will reign supreme? The apple cinnamon old-fashioned or the pumpkin spice old-fashioned? So you need to ask yourself, are you team apple cinnamon or are you team pumpkin spice? I'm gonna give you my results, but of course, if you wanna find out for yourself, you're gonna to have to make both these drinks and let me know in the comments down below. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start with the pumpkin spice old fashioned. So let's get some ice in a rocks glass. Use a big chunk of ice if you got it. And then we're gonna split the base between some rye whiskey and some bourbon. You can use one or the other, but I'm gonna use an ounce of each. Okay, after that, going to our pumpkin spice. Normally on an old fashioned, I only do a quarter ounce of syrup, but I'm gonna do a half an ounce because I wanna really accentuate that pumpkin and those baking spices. On to bitters, we're gonna do three kinds. I've got some ango, some cardamom, and some vanilla bitters. You don't have to use all of those, but I think it's gonna add some nice uh, complexity to the drink. Okay, stir, 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 and then we're gonna garnish quite simply with an orange peel. There it is, pumpkin spice, old fashioned. Moving on to the apple cinnamon old fashioned. We've got apple brandy, cinnamon syrup. Let's get going. Two ounces of a local apple brandy. This is my favorite brand, love this brandy two ounces in our glass. We're gonna follow that up with a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. This is homemade, check out that recipe. There we go. After that, for the bitters in this one, we're gonna do a couple dashes of Ango and these maple walnut bitters. I absolutely love these in this drink. And there it is, stir that bad boy down and we're gonna garnish this one with the obligatory orange peel, but also a cinnamon stick. And there it is, the apple cinnamon old fashioned. All right, guys, here we are. We're gonna taste these now. The pumpkin spice, old fashioned. Oh, going split base definitely works here. You get kind of that sweetness from the bourbon, but you get that peppery, spicy bite from the rye. And going half an ounce, I usually do a quarter ounce of syrup in, a, in an old fashioned but I think here going half an ounce adds just more of those baking spices, more of that pumpkin note. It really does come through um, and it doesn't feel overly sweet. And those bitters, we did three kinds of bitters here. Cardamom, which just adds more baking spice. Um, Angostura, which gives you your classic notes and a little hint of vanilla, which is nice. Hmm, that is a solid old fashioned. Moving on, apple cinnamon, old fashioned. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is just so good. This is like apple pie in a drink. Mm. I mean, the apple brandy is just so nice. You get, you get these warm apple flavors. Um, it's so smooth. You get the different notes of sweet caramel. Um, and then the cinnamon, the cinnamon, of course, cinnamon apples go hand in hand, complements it so well. Uh, we use the maple walnut bitters. You're getting a little hint of kind of nuttiness and, and maple in there. Oh, this is, this is a hard one. Mm. These are both fantastic. Ah! I honestly think, um, I, I think I'm gonna have to give it to, wow, these are just, it's hard to do, man. This is, this is such a hard one, because both of these, let me try this again. Oh my God. There's definitely a nostalgia factor with this one because apple cinnamon has, has been my favorite for the fall season for a very long time. I love apple brandy. I love specifically this apple brandy it's from Spy Distillery here in Ontario. Um, and I make this almost every year. Apple cinnamon old fashioned, fantastic. Mm. But this, this is the first time I've done it with the split base too. This, um, I don't make a pumpkin spice syrup every year. I'm just, I don't make it that often, but I made it this year and oh my God, this is nice. Oh, this is so hard. 
you know what? I'm gonna have to stick with my gut, stick with what I, with the nostalgia factor, I'm gonna give the winner to the apple yes. uh, cinnamon old fashioned. I guess the winner is the apples. It is a superior fall flavor. There's just so much more, but however, guys, don't, don't give, don't put this one down, okay? I know a lot of people hey, like to hate on the pumpkin spice uh, movement. <laughs> As it, you know, it kind of goes overboard every year. I think like pumpkin spice Oreos. I saw pumpkin spice Cheerios the other day. Those, that's, yeah. It goes a little overboard, but this, if you've made this syrup, and you've got some bourbon, you got some rye in your bar, make. You don't have to go crazy on the on the bitters like I did. Ango, just ang plain ango will do fine, but oh, make this one. This is fantastic. Hmm. Oh, here's an idea. <laughs> the ultimate fall old fashioned. No, nah, I just kind of ruined it. <laughs> Still good, but just a mishmash of too much flavors. Mm. When all said is done, both these flavors are fantastic. If you were team pumpkin spice, make sure you click on this video, check out some more pumpkin spice cocktails. If you were team apple brandy or apples, check out this video where I show you five awesome apple brandy cocktails. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.